Greetings and salutations, good people of the internet. My name is Big Lou and welcome to my workshop. Today's video is going to be a real quick one for you. All I'm going to be doing is putting together a prefabricated tool shed that I got from Home Depot. It's one of those plastic ones that you see out by the side of the parking lot that they have kind of standing up there. Anyway, I bought it with my own money. It's not sponsored. I'll have some more details on the actual unit when I get out to the site after I've put it together. Hopefully we can get this thing put together and assembled before any unwanted interruptions from lurkers nearby. Anyway, let's go ahead, get to work, because it should be pretty quick. Let's go. So we got the walls up, we got the doors on, and I think we're kind of in the home stretch here. The hardest part so far has definitely been putting the doors on. I didn't get much footage of it because it just, I couldn't get an angle on the camera to let you see what I was doing and then still be able to do what I needed to do to get these doors on. But the instructions are pretty simple and it's relatively straightforward. It's just a matter of balancing the doors to get the hinges to latch on there. And But anyway. Uh, that's done and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see what the next step is to get this top on and then we can see about getting some site prep done and put this thing in place. Let's get to it.
So right here along this side of the house is where I want to put the storage shed. It's got a nice big open area. It's got a nice overhang. The only problem is that the gap between where the sidewalk is and the wall of the house is not wide enough for the whole thing to fit against. So I have to build up the dirt part here so that it's nice and firm foundation for the thing to sit on without it, you know, sagging or whatever, warping, however you want to call it. So to do that, I've got some 4x4 planks that I've cut to size that are going to fit uh, right here to be the perimeter or the outside border, if you will. And I've got some marble rock chips, just some landscaping chips that I got from, uh, I got these from Lowe's, but you can get them from wherever you get landscaping supplies. That's going to be the base, and then we can have a nice solid foundation on which to build our, well, it's already built, but anyway, you get the idea. Let's get to work. Here it is, all assembled, put in place, put it up with all my yard tools. Not that I have a whole lot of them, but it is going to be good to get them this thing for. Uh, you may have heard me mention in videos past that I'm going to be building a storage shed in the backyard. This is just a temporary thing until I can get that shed situation uh, sorted out. It's kind of been a pain in the... What the hell is this? So close. You're trying to do a video without me? You're keeping me from my fans? You wouldn't be anything without me. How dare you? I'm just gonna let him ramble on. Y'all subscribe, like, stay motivated, stay, inspi stay inspired, stay safe. We'll see you next time. It's all me. What's wrong with you? How dare you? I don't think you fully appreciate what it is that I bring to this channel. This video is going to tank. I don't even think that people are going to hit like or subscribe. I can't wait to see your numbers. Oh man, the numbers that you're going to have without me, you can do the next one on your own. This channel could just, what is, oh man, I'm not even, I can't even look at you right now.